I'm Kia Ballantyne and this is my sister Sky. We're here today to ask for £25,000 in return for 10% of our company, Crikey Bikey Limited. Our company has two directors, my mum, Ali Ballantyne, and a family friend, Jeremy Wilson. Sky and I both hold 50% of the shares. We started our company because we really believe that our harness can help teach children how to ride their bikes much quicker. When I heard that my holiday homework was to invent something for a school technology competition, I thought, wow, I'm really going to go for this. I was wondering what to do when I noticed a man teaching his son to ride a bike in the park. The man was struggling because he was bent over holding the back of the seat and the handlebars and he was getting a bad back. Sky created the Crikey Bikey Harness, a harness with a handle on the back, which allows the adult to run with a straight back. If the child wobbles, they can feel the safety of the harness around them. We have registered the Crikey Bikey trademarks. We know that our product is unique because we have applied for a UK patent and we have asked for it to be accelerated. We would now like to invite on our directors to help us answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Den rules only allow company directors, Ali and Jeremy, to negotiate any deal with the Dragons. But the young entrepreneurs and inventors of the product are keen to prove themselves. Thank you. Can they convince the millionaires to part with £25,000 in return for 10% of the family business? And will they make child's play of Deborah Meaden's questioning? Hello. Well, my goodness, um, how old are you? I'm 14. You're 14? I'm 12. You're, OK. Great presentation and, do you know, such a good presentation that I'm actually going to not take your age into account at all because I have to say your presentation was as good as anybody who can come in here and present that, in fact, better than many. Thank so you. that was that was absolutely excellent. So how many have you sold so far? Um, roughly 100, but we've had um, verbal orders from some national uh, national stores. Oh, that's interesting. Which national stores? Um, Go Outdoors and also Evan Cycles. Uh, Go Outdoors, they've um, said something, so they want to buy more than Evans. Um, so at the moment they're kind of like are more our priority because they do want to buy quite a lot. And do we know what when when you say quite a lot have they given you an idea um, of how many they were buying? Roughly six hundred. Roughly six hundred. Okay. How much are they costing you to make? Um, about four pounds. About and how much are you um, selling them so to the end user online? Um, nineteen ninety nine plus um, delivery. Okay, there's a nice bit of profit on that. Mm -hmm. And um, where are you getting them made? Uh, China. How did you actually get it manufactured in China? What were the steps that, that were taken? At the very, very start, we thought about getting it manufactured in the Philippines, but it was more expensive and um, they wouldn't be able to take it um, any further than the factory door. Whereas with China, they can take it wherever we want it in the world. And also, if we were to get it made in the Philippines, the webbing fabric would come from China anyway. So it's so it just be. cutting out a journey. It's really funny, I've got four very little yeah. children. Yes. And I've just gone through this. Um, and actually, that transition phase between the stabilizers and actually mm -hmm. getting up on yeah. the bike yes. only really took us kind of less than an afternoon mm -hmm. with each of the kids. But for me and Sky, we, we took ages to learn to the transition. I don't know if it was because we were young or because we didn't spend much time on stabilizers. Uh, maybe. But yeah. we, we did do a lot of, uh, we took a lot, a lot of work. One thing for me, when I first saw it, I remember, you know, it wasn't so many years ago, that I was holding that seat with, for, for my little girls. And what's interesting is, I was at least, when I was holding the seat, I was in control. Mm. So I could go at sort of yes. my speed. Yeah. With this harness, yeah. I have a concern that I might end up being dragged down the road. We did some testing, because I originally had several ideas. I had dungarees and it was strapped on the back of the dungarees that the parent holds, but I tried it out and it, that gave me a wedgie, so... <laughs> <laughs> that was that about the way the <laughs> But, um, with the speed, you can hold on to the handle and if you, pull it, if you pull it back slightly, then you have control. The one issue I do have is taking out a patent, because it's quite expensive, and particularly with quite a small business, it can suck up quite a lot of money and quite a lot of effort and time. Can you explain the logic why you thought the patent was so important? We've already gotten um, a patent for the UK, but we want an international one, which we do want because then we can sell internationally without um, 
with obviously less people copying our product. How much have you spent so far on the patent? Patent and trademark, roughly 2,000. That sounds incredibly cheap. So is it, you actually have a patent? Yes. We, in well, the it's patent pending. OK, it's patent pending. Mm. And all right. Which bit is, do you think is the, the bit that could be patented? We've got the document with us, um, so we can show you. As Deborah Meaden gives the patent paperwork the once over, Peter Jones wants to know who out of the four is actually running the business. If I invest, what happens when buyers on like a normal work day mm -hmm. want to reach out and make a call? Um, well, on our business cards, we've got mum's number. Um, she's a teacher, so she can only um, answer calls and look at emails during break times and lunch times. But normally clients get hold of us by emailing, saying, when could I call you? Right. It is going to be tough to run that business from, from school. And as a business at £25,000, I think that it's going to be quite difficult for an investor such as me to get it back because we need somebody to come into the business full time and run it and that's going to cost us at least 20 to 30 thousand pounds so it's going to eat into the profit opportunity yeah. i won't be investing and i say that i'm out but i'll buy one just because i want uh, to thank you very much thank, thank you. you deborah meaden's concerned that the product doesn't have a patentable usp What did your patent lawyer say your chances were of getting a patent? Well, he's, he's expecting it to come through at any moment. He's, yeah, he's he not was... got any concerns or not voiced any concerns about really? the patent. He was confident. He's confident that yeah. the patent's going to come well, through. Well, he's a patent lawyer and I'm not. But the harness already exists. There's, I don't see anything on here that is actually a, a, a new invention. I would have thought its chances were absolutely minute. Business isn't that easy. Mm. And when I think about why I've got where I am, it's as much about the things that I got wrong mm -hmm. as the things that I got right. And I honestly think that you're going to be very successful, but the learning is such an important part of that. And I think you're too, you're too good to make it too easy for you. I think I'd be doing you a disservice. I think you're going to do well and you're going you're gonna to learn from it. Thank you very so, much. Thank you. So good luck with it. I'm Thank afraid you. I'm out. Deborah Meaden declined the deal. Plenty of advice, but no cash for the fledgling company. Only Tuka Suleiman remains. And with business interests in a cycling website, have the team saved the most likely investor till last. This really is your dream. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes? Yeah. yeah. I'm just thinking, you know, what I could do to really help you with that dream. My background is doing manufacturing, sourcing. Um, I've also, funny enough, I've got a website called bikesoup.com. This is what I'm going to do for you. I will take one of these products and Bike Soup will review it on their website. And I'll make sure that every bike shop in the country knows about it. So on that basis, I'm out but hopefully my time will help you. Oh, thank you, that'd be well really done. good. Thank you, no, that's really thank appreciated. Thank you very much. Okay. Well done. See you. Thank you, bye. 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 Ali and Jeremy's decision to let Kia and Sky lead the Q&A has paid off. The four entrepreneurs leave without investment, but they've won the support of Tuka Suleiman. We came here for the help, and that is exactly what we've got. The Tuka offer is stunning. Yeah, Tuka, really good. Tuka time. Yeah. It will definitely help us, um, and it's probably better than getting an investment because we don't have to give away any of our equity. If that's the future of our country. That makes me proud to be oh, British. Yes. Honestly, what a joy! Amazing. What Super. a joy! Amazing wow. to see that. Amazing. Crikey! <laughs> Crikey! <laughs>